This is so open this season. I mean, Adelaide United and Boz has said it on Match Day Saturday. They're going to cause a bit of damage if they hit the finals in the kind of form that they're in at the moment. They're eight points off the top. Western Sydney Wanderers in 2012-13. They were ten points off the top and they made that late season run. Of course, that magnificent run that they got on. So there's your, your, your premiers as to where they are after 15 rounds as to now it is wide open. You're none the wiser after 15 rounds who's going to win the first trophy of the season. Really? Well, I, I don't think Adelaide are in the mix personally. I think no. it's a five-horse race. I think Adelaide have uh, had a great run, but I don't think they've got the... Uh, you know, I don't think they've got the consistency. I know they've had that good run, but I thought we saw some flaws in that first period which will come back to haunt them. I think it's a five-horse race, the most open title race we've had in years. Agree? Right? Disagree. Yeah, Disagree. I, think, I think Adelaide have come on in leaps and bounds. Uh, they are naturally slow starters because of the conditioning program and the cycles and phases they put together at that club. This is now the time where they excel and they'll continue to get better. I think that they'll improve on last year where they came ever so close, and they'll learn from that because the majority of those players are still there this year. They've gotten used to their new coach and the way he wants to play as well. They are two signings short of going all the way. No there's, goal scorer routes. There's talk, well, let's talk about Sergio van Dijk. Let's talk about Troisi. I think that's the key as well. If they can fill their roster and improve and get real good quality in there. I mean, but Bale's coming back from injury, which now puts a little bit of pressure on Bruce Jitte. And I think it's always important to have competition for places. They're too short away. If they're up to sign those two, I don't know how they're going to fit them in the cap. They can. They can do a lot of damage, as Boss said, and go all the way. Bro. That's the Premier's plate discussion. What about champions and where the champions historically have been after 15 rounds and where Melbourne victory are at the moment, which is in keeping with what has happened before. I mean, Brisbane Raw, they were eight points behind. They ended up champions in 2011-12, that second year of Ange Postacoglu there. And you look at last season, Harps mm. and Bozza in particular, they were four points off at this stage last season. They ended up winning the lot with yeah. a leg in the air as well. <clears throat> and a bit of a pointer last Friday night um, because, you know, the old adage that defends wins... Championships, yeah. Premierships in this case, and, then, and, and strikers win games. And when you get down to a one-off game, as we saw last week, if the gear, uh, last season rather, if the gears are going for Melbourne victory, uh, there's still there is no indication really that there's a team that can, when the whips are cracking, can foot it with them. And I, we saw a, a snapshot of that on Friday night. And, and Adelaide um, can win the title. They might win the Premiership, but they can win the title from sixth place, which would be a great story in itself because that'd be the team that's come from the furthest back ever to qualify for the finals, which I think would be appropriate for a club that's contributed and with the team that they've got. So that's great news. But um, <clears throat> I'm still waiting for see, to see someone playing at their ultimate who can cope with Melbourne victory at pace and mm. intensity level. Yeah, Melbourne victory can still win everything. The half is exactly right. Friday night against Brisbane, they showed that. I also thought they showed that in the second half against Central Coast Mariners. I mean, you know, for, for all that we've talked about them going through a bad spell, they've scored seven goals in their last two games. And really, against Central Coast Mariners, they could have had about six. Um, I do think Adelaide can win it. I know, so it's uh, a six-horse race? I definitely think it's a six-horse race. And I'll tell you why, the match against Western Sydney Wanderers, I think it was on New Year's Day, Adam, yep. when we are out at Pertec Stadium. And uh, what I saw there, and Western Sydney Wanderers at the time were up with Brisbane, the best team in the league. Um, I definitely think that they've got the ammunition to win it. In terms of your, your goal scorer, which is a valid point, mm. that's fine. But I think the way that Adelaide play... I mean, Roots, you'll probably be able to help me on this. The way that Adelaide play, it's not so important to have one person scoring a of goals. They want goals coming from everywhere. Mm. And uh, if they can keep that going, if Sergio van Dijk comes as well, Babau coming back injured, I definitely think that they can win the title.